guys, and before we start this video, I would like to apologize. I'm just going to show you this while I'm talking. I'd like to apologize for the fact that this video is three days late. Just want to say sorry, I'm not going to make any excuses. It is true, I sort of didn't do anything, but yeah, so I'm sorry. But, at least you can watch it now. And I'd also like to say, no, this isn't the Wednesday video. This is the weekend video, even though it's Tuesday. Yeah. So, yes, now I'd like to say that today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely Easter basket. Not the stuff inside it, but I will be showing you how to make the Easter basket, and I will be making videos on how to make these, which I'll talk more about at the end of this video. So, keep watching to find out how to make this Easter basket. It doesn't have to be an Easter basket. It could be like a picnic basket or a basket for... It could... It's, it's, it's a basket. Right, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some fabric and or scrapbook paper. You can use any kind of fabric or scrapbook paper you want. Frankly, I suggest fabric. I'm using this woven looking fabric. So... First thing you're going to do is you're also going to need a tape roll. I'm using a scotch tape roll. You can use a scotch tape or duct tape roll. And then you're just going to measure it onto your fabric and cut a strip as wide as the tube just with about an inch extra. So like as wide as your tube with about an inch extra. So the width of your tube with an inch. And I'm just going to be measuring that. It's kind of hard with these metal knobs on my fabric, but I'll make do. Yeah, so be sure to have some extra, and yeah. Alright, so as you can see, I've cut that out, and then I glued it on, and then tucked it in. As you can see, sorry, I don't have more filming things of that, so now... You're going to trace it onto a piece of cardboard and trim it down so it fits on the inside of your roll, as you can see what I'm doing. And now you're just going to glue it in. Gluing it in might be a bit tricky because it's hard to get it to stick when it has nothing to be on, but if you put enough glue, it'll work. Alright, so, hey guys. Um, sorry for the sudden lack of footage. I filmed the footage, but then for some reason I lost it. Like, I don't know, I mean, I filmed it, but I lost it, so I have been, so, so what I did was I, um, just cut a piece of fabric, a circle of fabric, this blue fabric, and then I glued it in, and I folded over the edges so it looked nice, and then I cut some holes for, in the fabric for the handle, which is just a strip of my woven looking fabric. And put in, put some glue in the holes, and then glued in the handles. And sorry again that I don't have the footage. I lost it. I did film it, but I lost it. So yeah. And so um, that is basically how you make the basket. And I'm sorry if this was a bit undirect. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. If you have any questions about this craft. So, yeah. And I kind of like it how this handle's bent. And if you're wondering what you can do with the basket, here's a suggestion. Me and one of my friends are doing a thing where we each make each other a little Easter basket, a miniature one, and then fill it with goodies that we make ourselves. And this is what I've made. And some of these things I will be showing you how to make. Here's a puff ball pet. She's the springtime puff. I put some little capsters from the Klutz book capsters. And this egg right here is actually from a video I watched. So I can't really show you how to make it because that would be, you know, copyright in a way. I made this little gnome and this decorated bottle cap. And my, uh, this candy egg nest with an egg in it, and I'll, I can also make a video on how to do that. So I'm probably going to be making a video about this and this. So, um, stay tuned for that. And, yeah. 
So, thanks for watching.